Hi everyone, Caduce, co-founder of Informail here. I want to make this video very concise. I just want to quickly go over Spintax and how to use it in your cold emails. So basically Spintax is just creating variations to your cold emails. So when you send emails out, if you're sending four or five, 6,000 emails out in a week, right? You want to actually create variations to your email. So every time it sends out, it's, it conveys the same message, but there's some words that change here and there to actually create variations to your email. So the way that this works is, for example, we have this right here, this is an email, and it uses the Spintax, okay? of random, it's called random, and what it does is it actually just rotates between words to create different emails essentially, same context but different words in the email. So for example, you can see right here, hi, hello, hey, greetings, hi there, howdy, right? All of this is going to actually change up top here every single time I actually try to preview the email. So he says hi there here, and then it goes, well, hey there, hey there again, hello there, Right? And then we want to actually have as many variations as possible to trick email service providers so we can increase our deliverability, land in the inbox more often. Right, But you know, the only thing that's annoying is that writing it can take a bit of time. So I actually was playing with ChatGPT and figured out a way to actually use Spintax and have a bunch of variations created for you very, very quickly. So I'm going to show you that right now. What you're going to want to do is I put it also in the description below. You're going to want to use this prompt right here. So you're just going to say use Spintax to create variations to this email using this notation. And you're going to write this down right here, random. And I, again, it's in the description. Create Spintax to the opener, the closer, and the body of the email without changing the original context of the email. Here's the email below. And then I actually wrote this email here. Hi, first name. We made you a solar AI assistant for a company name that handles all customer questions and books appointments consistently. We implemented this for Apple Solar and they closed seven new deals in one month and made an extra 36K in profit. No setup fees, hidden fees, or anything like that. You just pay for hosting the AI. I made you a two minute video on how this works. May I send it over? Best Caduce, we've generated, and then I said PS, we've generated over two million plus profit for solar companies this past year using this. ChatGPT basically output, certainly here's your email with Spintax applied to the opener, closer, and body without altering the original context. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly what the output is, how many variations it created, and what it looks like on Instantly. So right here, I'm gonna show you, as you can see, it just looks like a bunch of gibberish, but you can see it basically, you know, use the random notation, and that's all you really need. So we're gonna copy this, okay? And then we're gonna go to spin.me. So if you put sp1n.me, I'm gonna put this in the description as well. You can paste this in, okay? And then you can see right here, it created how many is this? What is this? This is 920. So it created 83 million variations to your email. So every single time that your email sends out, right? Or excuse me, 8 million. So, or is it 8 billion? I can't even read this number. Yeah, so 8 billion variations to your email. <laughs> That's so funny. So 8 billion, 304 million, 721,920 variations to your email. You're never going to get caught by email service providers because every single time your email sends, it's going to send from this batch, right? And you know, I mean, you have to really be sending so many emails to even hit this number. You're never gonna hit it. The permutations on this are ridiculous. Now you're probably like, okay, I wanna see what this email looks like. What is, you know, what is it gonna actually look like on instantly? So one thing I might add is that sometimes ChatGPT can also mess up the spin tax a little bit, meaning that it'll kind of use words that you don't want them to use. So for example, if you wanna switch out any of these, you can, you know, switch it out. Hiya, for example, it's not really the best thing to say in a cold email, so I'm gonna take that out, right? And you can just, you know, add to this, take away from this as much as you would like. Right here, we've designed a solar AI system exclusively for company name, Right, and then it says uh, that effectively, efficiently, skillfully handles all customer inquiries. So I wanna change this to customer questions. And I'm gonna say, and reliably, consistently, dependably books appointments, right? So I'm gonna also put, you know, I'm gonna probably take away dependently, dependably, don't really need that. And just like this, you're gonna play with it, all right? And then at the end of it, once you're done, you're gonna copy this whole thing, put it into instantly, okay? And then you're just gonna format it correctly by just pressing the enter button and make sure that there's uh, effective spacing in your emails. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, there we go. So now we're gonna create the variations and you can see, so once you preview it, everything will change. Salutations, we've designed a solar AI assistant exclusively for that effectively handles. So you can see it kinda does do the mess up here. Actually, wait, it wasn't a mess up. This was just a four company name and I haven't actually put the input for that yet. So it'll just be like, we've designed a solar AI assistant exclusively for X company that effectively handles all customer questions and reliably books appointments. We've implemented this for Apple Solar and they effectively closed seven additional deals in just one month, resulting in an extra 36K. No configuration fees. So for example, configuration, we don't want that, right? We could just put installment fees, for example. So we go back. Right? So you see right here, it says setup configuration. So we're gonna change this one to installment. And then we're gonna put like installation here. And then we're just gonna leave that like that. So then yeah, so then we can change this as much as we would like. So you're gonna copy and paste and then you're just gonna save it simply. And then now when you send out emails, you're gonna be able to land in the inbox way more often than not because you have so many variations. Hope this video helped. Use ChatGPT to your advantage when using Spintax. It's a very, very important part of cold email. And, and yeah, so peace out.